Welcome guys to tutorial time episode 3. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to set up on a Hamachi server. Uh, it's fairly straightforward. So first off what you're going to need is Hamachi. If you want to add, if you want to download Hamachi, link will be in the description. Download it, install it and click the big button there and it should come up like yours. Name it, whatever you want. And yeah, so it should look a bit like this. And what you're also going to need is a bucket server. If you want to know how to set one of those up, click the annotation in the top left hand corner of the screen. And yes, it should take you to the tutorial on how to set up a bucket server. So once you get it all set up, it's fairly straightforward. So just close that for now. So first off, what we're going to do is add our firewall security. So what you're going to do is type in firewall into your start search. And then click the one that says Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. Kind of click that. Now what you're going to do is go to Inbound Rules and click a New Rule. Once you've got a new rule, you want to go to Port. Click Next. TCP. Specify local port, so you want to type in then the Minecraft default port, or else if you don't know what the Minecraft default port is, go to your server, right click your server properties, right click it, should say properties file there, or just called server, right click, go to open with, click notepad, always select, always use the selected program to open this kind of file, click OK, and then it should look a bit like this when you open it. Look for the server port 25565. So I'm going to use the Minecraft default. If you have it, you know, like 25566 or, you know, whatever you want, then you'd select that port. But I'm going to use 25565. What I'm going to do is just close that. So 25565. Next. Allow the connection. Next. Make sure all these are selected. Next. Name it. I'm just going to name it Minecraft Tut TCP. You could just name it Minecraft TCP, but I'm going to name it Minecraft Piece TCP. So what I'm going to do is click another new rule. You want to do the same again, port. This time, when you come to this selection, go UDP. And then again, 25565. Next. Allow the connection. Next. Next. Minecraft. Tut. UDP. Next. Then what you're going to do is go to outbound rules and do it again. I've already got them done here, but I'll show you how to do them again. Click new rule, click port, next, TCP again, port 25565. I know it's kind of boring this. Allow the connection, make sure you select that. If you block the connection, no one will be able to connect, so allow the connection. Domain, private, and public are all selected. Next, and Minecraft, tut, DCP, next. And then we do another one more rule. Minecraft. Next. Port. Next. UDP. 25565. Next. Allow the connection. Next. Domain private and public. Select. Next. Minecraft. Tut. U UDP. Next. So there we go. We have all our ports done there. And nah, it's in here somewhere. But it's done. Because I remember I was doing it. So what we do is just close that. So, once you've got it set up, what you want to do is create your Hamachi network. So, what we're going to do is go to Log Me in Hamachi, click Network, create a new network, and name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it PCGXI Tutorial. Tutorial. Like that. And the password, make it simple for people to connect or make it complex for you, only your friends to get. So, for now, I'm just going to do ABC123. Create. So, it should create a network. It should say how many people are in it, one out of five. Okay, so next what you want to do is go to your server properties again and look for it says server IP. So now what you're going to do, put in there is your server IP. How do I get it? Well, you see up here, if you click up here in the little blue box just above the IP, click. It should say copy IPv4 address. What I'm going to do is copy that and paste it in there. There should be no space. If there's a space like that, you've done it wrong, take the space out. And yeah, just leave it like that. Save it. Make sure you save it. So, how do people join my server? Well, first off, they want to join your network. So, what they'll want to do is click network, join existing network, type in the name of your network. So, PCGXI tutorial. Um, and then the password, whatever your password is. So, whatever you named your thing is, their network ID, and whatever the password is, is what you told them. So, I'm not going to do that, but they join, and then, you know, you, you get a group of people in there. So, oh, didn't mean to close that. So, now what do I do? Well, you go to Minecraft. So this is the IP you tell your friends and yourself. It's completely slightly different to port forwarding, but it's still along the same principles of port forwarding. So you do is go to multiplayer 
add a server. So you want to name it whatever you want. Microsoft, I'm just going to leave it default. So, oh god. Oh, sorry about that. My phone just went off. <laughs> Bit retarded. So next, what you want to do is click here again, where it says copy IPv4 address, and paste it in here. So for that, just press Control and V, or just manually type it in. Then put a colon, and then put the port 25565, and click Done. That there is what you tell your friends exactly. You know, it's the same for you and your friends to join. So once you've done that, what you want to do is set up your server, run it. So console should come up here, running server, blah, 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 running, wait for it to create the spawn. And then once it is up, your server is completely up. Yeah. And there we go. Once your server is up, click refresh. And look at that. The server is up. And I should, if you're seeing the console in a second, joining the server. There we go. Zap2k has joined the server. I have, I'm in the server. So that, guys, is how you set up a Hamachi server. So links for everything in the description. I'll probably make a text tutorial for you guys. Uh, for some people who you know need it more because they don't understand the video properly, or I go slightly too quick. But if I don't go too quick, then you know you could always just replay it, pause the video, copy kind of the settings, or you know, yeah. So that's really it, guys. If it helped, please drop a like and add it to your favorites because it helps a lot. So thank you for watching, and I hope this helped.